Welcome back last Chris Barbecue Show. Thank you to everyone who has joined me in subscribing and giving me feedback. It's wonderful. Smash that subscribe button. Click those like buttons. It all helps that algorithm work out. All right, today we got a really fun episode, and it is all courtesy of Noble Premium Bison. That's right, Kelly has sent me two amazing tomahawk steaks. Check this out. So we're going to do the tomahawk. Oh. We're going to cook two tomahawks. We're going to do one on the Gorilla Grills Kong Kamado, and the second one we're going to do on the Yoder. Now, after we cook it on the Yoder, we're going to sear it. Otherwise, they're going to be the same, and then we're going to have Master Consulting Chef Emmett taste the difference. It's one smoky, it's one different. The way we sear it, we're going to see. So, we love cooking bison. It's a leaner meat. By the way, on the Kong, I'm using this from our great friends at All Barbecue Canada's. We've got some very fun Crown Royal barbecue whiskey chunks. Now, on top of the bison, we are putting this, the Hay Grill Hay Seasoning. Look at that. That is from our friends at All Barbecue Canada. Dean knows what he's talking about. I've never tried it before. It's their beef seasoning. And the aroma from this, you know there's a lot of steak seasonings. It's really nice. I can't quite put my finger on it, but it's really nice. So uh, we're going to do that. Uh, that's going to be on the steaks. Pretty simple beyond that. We're going to try it two different techniques and see which one we like. Could be a battle of equals. Let's find out. All right, let's get started. So as I said, we're going to use the same seasoning, this Hay Grills Hay seasoning on both. The way we cook it is going to be a bit different. So that's going to be la différence. So let's just get going and we're just going to put some of this great seasoning on top. A little bit above is salt, lots of spices, garlic. You know, I can tell you the aroma is fantastic. We're going to cover all elements. It's kind of a finer seasoning, as you can see. Now these are obviously large pieces of bison, so they can handle lots of seasoning. We're going to cook it to 275 on both. Now what we're going to do is we're going to sear one on a, uh, a cast iron off the barbecue with a little bit of camelina oil. And the other we're going to sear right on top of the hot coals. And again, those hot coals have got lots of our Crown Royal whiskey chunks in them, which we've used once before and add a delicious whiskey flavor. Thank you again to Kelly from Noble Bison. Got more bison cooks coming up. All right. And then on one of these, a trick for my very good friend, Andrew Turner, who told me if you want to avoid the bone part of the tomahawk breaking off is to wrap it in aluminum foil. So let's wrap that in aluminum foil right now. Well, soon, because I got to go find the aluminum foil, which used to be right here. All right, I'll be right back. We'll say we're going to put this one onto the Kamado. And so just in case, the last time, and I had some feedback from everyone last time I did a tomahawk steak on the Kamado, which was my first one. The Grilla Grills Kamado, the bone broke off and it was a little unsightly. So we're going to try and do that and step up. All right, so into this, we're going to put our meter. I actually usually forget to do this, right? If you watch the show. And then into this one that's going on, the Yoder, they're very good probe that will stick right inside, because I want to take these steaks to about 125 and then finish them to 135, 140, maybe on the two ways I'm gonna finish them. Anyway, so we're all set, looking good. Let's get these onto the barbecues. All right, so first stop of our tomahawk challenge is on the Yoder, which is exactly coming in right at the temperature. Of course, that's the big, big, big benefit to the Yoder, one of the many. Do love my Yoder. I'm gonna put that tomahawk on and then we'll put the probe right in and plug the probe in and we'll have an exact temperature. And the Yoder does an amazing job of keeping temperature right to where you want it to be. All right, so let's get that in. Probe's in, tomahawk is about to start its journey. All right, we are going. Now, where are we? We're at about just about 300, so I'm just gonna 
tap that down a little bit to about 0.5 on the dial. And you see the smoke. We just got some beautiful, delicious smoke coming out of here. Waiting for our tomahawk steak. All right. Woo. Yes, sir. That is definitely the characteristic of our Kamado. It smells amazing, beautiful, nice and smoky. We got a deflector plate on. Perfect. There we go. Look at that smoke pouring out of there. It's amazing, right? Very different, very different cook than the Yoder. But we're going to have to watch it because, you know, it often kind of runs away at you. All right, let's close this up before it runs away from us. There we go. Our fireboard is working perfectly, so we know exactly what's going on. Our bison is at 41 degrees, and right now we're at 251, but it opened it up, so it's cold night, so that would have uh, lowered the temperature. But as you can see, it's quickly climbing back up to the 280. I put it at 280, 275. So let's see how the meter, if the meter's feeling like working today. Oh, and the meter connected. All right, it's going to be a good day. So there we go. Uh, so uh, 41 degrees. So they're both, uh, both stakes are at 41 degrees. Ambient temperature 151, but that's going to climb. Uh, that's not 151 in there. So we are good to go. All right, that's a great start. Oh, yeah. Looking amazing. Check that out. All right, so we've pulled uh, the bison tomahawk off this Kamado, and what I've done is opened it up. You know, we we're cooking at about zero. We we're down at about 275, 300. And interestingly, this steak put on at the exact same time, exact same time, was actually ready before the steak on the Yoder. So that's super interesting. Both the same temperature, but the Kamado convection cooking took it to temperature a little faster. Now what I've done is I've cranked this open to three and opened it wide. We've got it up to 500 degrees because I want it searing hot. I'm just gonna sear the steak for a few minutes on top to get that nice Maillard effect. So it is now cranking at 500 degrees. It is super hot. So we're gonna put it back on the barbecue and we're just gonna crank it up. There, look at that, searing. There we go, so that's just gonna sear those flavors in. We're not gonna leave it on for too long, only a couple of minutes, and it's super hot. It really gets going really quick, right? So that's the what continues to impress me and also <laughs> ruin a few cooks here and there is managing the temperature on the Camaro is uh, a bit of art and science, right? Air here, air there. Here's what I've learned for sure over these cooks is you can't rush it. It's hard to be in a rush because what happens is you can get it going fast and you can get it hot fast, but it's hard to manage the temperature. You gotta let it settle, find its own temperature, and then you can really tweak the temperature. So it does take a bit of time. And thank you again, Andrew Turner, for the tip. Look at that. We'll take that off and we'll have a very nice display. I'm just gonna move this around a little bit. Get some nice grill marks. And while this is happening, our tomahawk on our Yoder is uh, coming along nicely. It's almost ready as well. But as you can see, we are cranking here. Now let's give it a, give it a turn. Oh yeah, beautiful. Then we'll let it rest while we do the uh, Yoder one and then we're done. Get this pan a little warmed up too. Let's put the pan over here so the pan stays warm. A little trick there. I wanna put a nice, beautiful, warm steak on a cold pan. It's a cold night out. Well, it's not too cold. It's about, it's about three degrees out right now. It's gonna get colder, that's for sure. <laughs> we'll be cooking, we'll be out here cooking. All right, there's only a couple of minutes. Look at that, the drip, fat's dripping off. Looking good, let's take a look. i use another minute or so, not much longer though. All right, and we are done. We don't wanna overcook this. So let's get that off the grill, beautiful. Check that steak out, look at that. Hot off the grill, looks amazing. We are exactly, exactly, let's just check. I think it's exactly 125, which I love about the Yoder. Look at that, 127, in fact. I cranked it up a little bit towards the end because it was getting cold out just for the last minute or two, so 128. Let's do the big reveal. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's looking amazing. Woo, looking amazing. All right, so clearly, very different looking steak, right? They come off the grill looking very different. Now, this isn't the end of the journey for this one, remember. All right, and there is our steak from the Yoder. 
looks different, but we're not done yet. So let's get over and sear it up. Let's first take our handy temperature guide and let's see what temperature we're at for our plate. 550, 560 degrees. All right, 560, that's nice. Now, of course, for 560, you're gonna need a really good smoke point oil. So for that, we have our camelino oil from Three Farmers. Let's get that on there. A little camelino oil. Oh, the aroma, if we had smell-o-vision. Fantastic. Once again, morning, I'll leave this on for a couple of minutes. And you also want to make sure and render that fat out. Look at that, oh, look at that, beautiful. more on this side. Now, all right, that should be good. Again, we don't want to oversear it. We don't want to overheat it. It's already well heated. Well, let's get that off and let that rest. That's done its work and we'll bring it inside and get ready to do the taste test. All right, here is the results from our amazing bison tomahawk challenge. Contender number one cooked on the yoder exactly 275 and then seared on a 550 degree hot plate. Contender number two, cooked in the Grilla Grills Kong and then seared in the Kong at 500 degrees. All right, let's do the taste test. As I said, executive chef Emmett will be telling me which one he prefers. Now again, remember the spices, everything else is the same. So let's see how it goes. Looking good, looking amazing. Oh, look, check that out. Check the yoder out. Very good, all right, Emmett, do the taste test. All right, right now we are trying the yoder and seared on the grill. Very good, all right. Now we are trying the Grilla Grills Kong well, I would expect it to be smokier, certainly, and then finished over 500 degrees. There we go. What do we think? Mmm. A lot smokier. A lot smokier. Do you have a preference? And the winner is... And the this win one's juicier. Yeah, that one's juicier. This one dried out a little bit, right? Interesting. Mm. No, he's going in for another bite. He's undecided. There's a second bite of the Yoder seared on the grill. And the Yoder wins! The Yoder takes it, even though the other one's got more smoke. Maybe, maybe it's a little overcooked for your liking. It's a little drier. It's certainly juicier, but they're identical, otherwise identical. Isn't that interesting? More flavor on the Yoder. More flavor on the Yoder than on the Kong. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The Results of the bison.